subscribe our channel and press the bell icon never miss an update from tech hunter hey guys in this video i will take a look at color grading and color correction in filmora 9. it is the best video editing software for lock configured computer and it has definitely a very handy feature which i think everyone should know about if you take just a few moments to color grade your footage it can highly increase the production quality of your videos and make them look much more professional just look at the video clip it's an example and in this tutorial i'm gonna show how to turn this shot into this using color grading so first of all open Filmora, of course the first step is importing your video and dragging it to the timeline. I have already imported so I'm gonna just dragging it to the timeline. Once you have this step just to select the video you wanna make changes to. There are two ways to access the color grading tool. Just right click on the timeline and here is the color correction option. Another way is select the timeline and go to adjustment and here color and then go to advanced. So basically this is the color grading panel of Filmora 9. Actually it's not a professional color grading tool, but I told you before it is the best software for low configured computer. It's a lot to see Photoshop camera raw filter, so it will be more easy to access. Okay I'm gonna start customization, it will easy to explain. So the first step is white balance. Obviously it is the first condition of color grading. Okay adjust temperature or tint in this section. I'm gonna adjust as required for this video. The next step is 3D lots. We can also call them presets. There are a lot of famous movies and TV shows presets available in Filmora 9. Like Batman, Game of Thrones and Harry Potter. Another one is Mission Impossible. I'm gonna use it. Moreover, you can also import your own lots in the cube format. Uh, this can be easy to download from internet. And all you need to do is just import it into Filmora. Next, this is color where we have the exposure and brightness. These are kinda similar. Okay, contrast, vibrance, and saturation. Saturation simply increase the intensity of all color at the same time, while vibrance only increase the intensity of muted or less saturated colors. The next one is light, where you can control highlight shadows, white and black separately. I think I should decrease a little bit black. The HSL panel allow you to control all of the different color in the video separately. This is very useful. Suppose you can change cloth color with HSL. This will probably have the biggest impact on the final result. So you should do this precisely. And finally we have the vignette, which lets you jerk and or brighten the edges around your video. So it's very important to get cinematic look. Ok I think I should decrease a little bit highlights. That's pretty much it. Now we can take a look at the before and after. Up in the corner we have the show original button. And you can also use the side by side comparison. Once you have this clip color graded, you can also save it as a lot or preset. Almost our color grading is finished. Once you have done it, just click on OK and your video ready for render. I hope this video is gonna be very helpful for you. If you wanna get more videos about it, please comment in my video. I'll try to make another video on this topic. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. Never miss an update from Tech Hunter.